Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. The Grove is a 60-bed nursing home in Ironprior, servicing approximately 30,000 residents. Its licenses expire in 2025. It must redevelop, but it is not feasible with only 60 beds, 60-bed 60 licenses. Without additional licenses, the Grove will close, leaving an area with already half the provincial average of beds per 1,000 with no beds at all. On top of that, from May 2015 to May 2016, the Grove saw a 30 per cent increase in its wait list. The problem is getting worse, not better. Speaker, the situation is becoming critical. The good news is that Iron Prior Regional Health has a redevelopment plan to address this chronic shortage. What they are asking for is for the minister to personally meet with them to discuss their redevelopment plan. Question. Will the minister agree to take the meeting? Thank you. Minister of Health, Long Term Care. Well, thank you. Uh Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question from the member opposite, who has we've actually spoken a number of times uh, about this issue with regards to Grove Arm Prior and District Nursing Home, affectionately known as the Grove. Uh, he's been a strong advocate for the redevelopment that they are uh, both eligible for and in the process of undertaking, Mr. Speaker. So uh, it's important to recognize that. Uh, this is part of a larger redevelopment of 30,000 uh, long-term care beds across the province to bring more than 300 homes up to code so the design standards are uh, appropriate for this day and age. But with regards to Grove, uh, I have to uh, say, Mr. Speaker, that my office has been deeply involved, not just the ministry, both in capital as well as in the long-term care division, but my office uh, specifically uh, has held uh, two meetings, uh, had a number of uh, phone calls uh, with the president and CEO of Grove. We believe we're working collaboratively. We want that collaboration uh, to continue. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the minister. I have well over 1,000 individually signed postcards calling on the minister to act. I will send these down with a page. Minister, the community sees this as a highest priority project. To be fair, your ministry has been working with Iron Prior Regional Health, but no acceptable outcome has been achieved. With an aging population, longer life expectancies, and an explosion in rates of dementia and Alzheimer's, the minister knows that the status quo will not do. A solution must be found. For the good of the seniors, our seniors, and the people of Iron Prior, we need the minister to step up. Speaker. Once again, and I hope you'll answer the question directly, Minister, will you commit question. to personally meeting with the Iron Prior Regional Health and community leaders to discuss this most important develop redevelopment Thank plan? You. Please meet with the people. Minister. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. And I was actually looking for something that would help to, uh, to make it easier so I don't have to look down. I appreciate receiving from any member, Mr. Speaker. I uh, appreciate re receiving postcards and petitions and information that allows me to understand the level of com community support. There is no doubt when it comes to the Grove that this is a, a such a, a well-respected and loved uh, 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 home for so many of the seniors uh, in that part of our province, uh, Mr. Speaker. So as I mentioned, we are, and I believe that Eric Hanna, who's the president and CEO of Arm Prior Regional Health, which is the operator of the long-term care home, I believe that he would agree with me in saying that we are working very closely, extremely collaboratively, as well as I reference my office is directly involved through meetings, through phone calls, the ministry, through two divisions uh, within the ministry as well. And of course, if it's necessary to have additional meetings yes, with myself uh, in order to, uh, to uh, reach the accommodation I think that we all share in terms of this redevelopment, I'm prepared to do that, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.